Thanks for checking out the Trumpet Extensions video on overpressure. Overpressure is essentially exactly what it sounds like. You're pressing the instrument slightly too hard against your face and you're pinching the lips together. You're closing the aperture or the small opening between the top and bottom lip too much. So for instance, One of the most interesting things about this sound, at least from my perspective, is the sort of counterpoint that you can hear between the different layers of the sound. Though these aren't all that controllable, they often show up and I think we're lucky to have them. Composers, this is a technique that you're going to want to have a conversation with your performer about. So while it's not harmful, if done correctly, it's not exactly comfortable and it can be challenging to go back to playing normally after doing any extended passage of overpressure. There's not a codified way of notating this, so my preference is just a text cue explaining what the desired sound is. For instance, in Kaya Chernovin's Irrational, a piece she recently wrote for Load Bang, I think she does a really good job sort of telling me exactly what she wants to do, as opposed to showing me in a more traditional way of using note heads or something like that. Trumpeters. This one's not so hard. Essentially, just do everything wrong. So you're going to press too hard against your face, you're going to pinch your lips, and you're not going to support the sound. It takes just about zero air to do this, though it should never hurt. So if it does, take the horn off, play some mid-range notes, take a break. There's no need to overdo it. So I'll demonstrate once more. So you're going to pinch the lips, you're going to push the instrument too hard against your face, but again, not so hard that it hurts, and you're gonna support with just the tiniest bit of air. Thanks for checking this one out.